ladles and jelly spoons. It's been a while since you got to hear this sultry, buttery voice, but I am your silver tongue soundsmith. I am Chip Stackworth, and I'm bringing you a special before the special before the special. The 2018 Yamamoto Cruiserweight Classic. Ah, uh, name pending. I know it's the Yamamoto Classic in the name of arguably the greatest who ever come through the digital triad, and that is Kazuhiro Yamamoto, better known as Wizard. Um, this is a best of the best from around the digital triad. Um, top eight spots. Winner gets a title match. At the end of the tournament, against our current Supernova Pro Cruiserweight Champion, that is Andres Calderon, who ended the season as Cruiserweight Champion. Um, quick history before I get into this. Quick reason why this became more than a tournament. Um, Calderon is scheduled to be out for a little bit of time um, due to injury. He vowed, he, he vi vied for one more match. Um, Moto, our commissioner, said, okay, we'll give you the go at the end of this tournament. You get one more match. So, the winner of this tournament gets to take on Andres Calderon. But if Calderon somehow pulls it out, what do we do? That is a great question that doesn't have an answer. But... We're going to keep it going. We got eight of the best from around the digital triad, including a new signee. We had to pull prone from his match against Simon Taro and opening round. We'll get to see what a newcomer does in his place. But we're going to get things started after all that yammering with all day Alex Davis representing high class wrestling and one third of Supernova Pro's Cruiserweight Tag Team Champions, Raiden Frost. We have two thirds of of Future Wave. They added a third member. I'll explain that in our season opener, which is about a month away. So, going to get excited about that. Get excited about Raiden Frost, Alex Davis. Live from the Yamamoto Classic. Oh, it, it, it feels weird, but it feels good to actually be behind the mic again. I'm a little rusty. I'm a lot rusty. I'm not going to lie. I took some time off at the end of the season. I've been doing some things and some stuff. Been catching up on some Netflix. Yeah, I got some Hulu going on. Uh, taking the lady out. It was. It, it's been nice. It's been nice. But it's also nice to be behind the mic, broadcasting for you all once again. Once again, the. Uh, Season will start the next season. Season two of Supernova Pro begins in about four weeks. I know sometime after the new year has begun already. But speaking of things that have begun already, here we go. Coming out first, representing high class wrestling all day. Alex Davis, former Super Junior champ there. Also former world champion in high class wrestling. He makes a great claim. And the best thing about his claim is that Alex Davis himself has stated that he has never had, nor has he ever chosen to, move up in weight class to garner fame. He has won many titles. 
and he has always maintained the same size. He has never bumped up in a weight class light heavyweight or heavyweight. Hey, he's probably one of the few who can say that as he awaits his opponent. Out comes Raiden Frost. Like I said, one-third. Yes, the titles will be defended as long as Future Wave holds them under free bird rule, free wave rule. Start off. The current incarnation that has spent, has done the rounds as Cruiserweight Tag Team Champions is Raiden Frost himself. And his best friend, more like his brother, Eddie Matua, who has returned back into the fold of the digital triad. Simon Taro, late signing back on the Supernova Pro. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. But everybody's like, oh, is Matua out? Oh, oh, Simon Terrell's back. That means Eddie Matua's gone. Uh, nope. Freebird rule. <laughs> so that's how that's going to run. As long as Future Wave are Supernova Pro Cruiserweight Tag Champions. Any combination of the three men can defend those titles. Raiden Frost, of course, carrying one of those belts proudly. The other one currently in the possession of Eddie Matua, who is in the back but not in this tournament. And Raiden Frost really feeling himself. Milking the absolute hell out of his entrance. Definitely a bright spot amongst the juniors, cruisers, blitz division, whatever you want to call them amongst the triad. Last year was Raiden Frost. Shocked the world with Simon Taro. They weren't even friends. When they were thrown together in a Joker's Wild Style match against the Risen, taking those belts and not relinquishing them for months. Man, I just said a lot about these titles that haven't been around long since the Collins Cup 2018, which, by the way, will be back and have a new format because we are Supernova Pro Wrestling where tag team lives. Where tag teams live. Jesus, I am. Yes, the Mike Rust is showing. We got Davis all day. We got Raiden Frost, and we got a match. Supernova Pro is a go from the Yamamoto Classic. As you can see, 20-minute time limits on the matches. We don't want these things to last forever, even though some, we might, considering the depth of this tournament. Alex Davis getting the upper hand early all day. Nickname given to him early in his career. This man's this man had quite a gimmick he made for himself. A niche, if you will, by competing in back-to-back 60-minute -back Iron Man matches. Like against one competitor, then go on right to the next. A name stuck when Nasty Nick heard him scream, I can do this all day, and, oh, there you go. 
little backstory of Alex Davis. Multiple time Super Junior Champion, High Class Wrestling, two time High Class Wrestling World Champion. I believe he's also have a high, has a hybrid title or two under his belt. I've been talking a lot, not really calling the action. Alex Davis, though. Seizes control for a moment. Raiden Frost jumping neck breaker off the corner boot. Alex Davis, though, not playing that shit. AD, you got to watch AD, though. That braced knee. Some people call it a cheater knee. That is the setup for the daybreak. Oh! Code breaker. Boston knee party. This might already be the end for Raiden Front. No. Mr. Frost kicking out at two. Surprise, Ninja. Tilt a whirl. Face buster. Almost got the three count off of it. Aiden Frost. Oh, surprise ninja. Oh, looked like Davis was about to go into the corner. Set up daybreak. I also realized I was very close to the mic. Oh, what a face buster variation. Crowd hype, crowd on their feet. Daybreak. Oh. And Raiden Frost kicks out at two and a half. Jawbreaker. Whoop. Gotcha. Frostbite. And Alex Davis kicks out. Folks, this match has only been four minutes long because it's been packed with action, packed with peanuts. Like a payday. Close line, close line, duck under. Super kick. Raiden Frost looking to finish it. Nope, arm drag, takeover counter. AD. Slingshotting Raiden Frost off the ropes. Busted the knee, party. Couple stomps, goes for the pin. Almost got a three count. First chicken wing of the new season, I'm calling it. That was a 299 chicken wing special. Oh, I thought Alex Davis was about to set up daybreak once again. Ah, there's his, there's the daybreak corner. Look at the crowd, waiting for it. Oh! Good fight, good night. And Alex Davis moving on. Holy smokes. What a good way to open a tournament. Alex Davis, Boston Knee Party, Codebreaker, whichever you prefer. I'll say one or the other, just let me know. Oh, he had it there. Tilt a world face buster out of nowhere. Raiden Frost doing his best. There's Daybreak. I believe that was the first one. There, Frostbite. Wasn't enough. Alex Davis mustered enough to come back. Hit a second Daybreak. Straight took Raiden Frost face off. And now he can go back and get himself some rest. All day. 
Alex Davis. Your winner of the first match, the Yamamoto Classic. We're going to move on to the next match. There. Eddie Van Hazard, Ito Kajiwara, two former Cruiserweight champions going at it in the first round. Very excited about this one. Kajiwara, of course, one of the surprises of the cruiserweight division here in Supernova Pro. Eddie Van Hazard still holds the mark of youngest person to hold gold in any form of the digital triad. Just a little over 18 years old. Now 19 years old. Yeah, well, two different titles last year. He uh, beat Bro Canada with Jen. To become tag team champions with Jen. And that's how he got his status as the youngest member youngest member of the digital triad to hold gold came back a little later won a cruiserweight title he took Kajuara also winning cruiserweight title losing it to Andres Calderon who came out of nowhere let's be real And here comes EBH. With a year under his belt. See what year two has for EBH. Eddie Van Hatter, a member of Steel City Strong Style. Say that five times fast. I almost did. I, I, I couldn't do it. With another member, Mighty, also in this tournament. Out comes Aito Kachiwara. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kind of giggling right now. Aloud and to myself. Because last year he was very impressive. But he feels as though he wasn't allowed to express his true self. On his off time. Decided to go back to Hajime Piro. Went back to Japan. Got himself sorted out. Got himself a little flair. Also got a cool little scarf. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> and now he's back representing. For the Cruiserweight division here. And Supernova Pro. I believe he may also have signed a contract with Blitz Wrestling Organization. We gonna find out. Kajiwara. EVH. This match is a go. EVH tried to front drop kick, got caught. Eito Kajiwara. Wheelbarrow neck breaker. I can't say wheelbarrow. I still can't say wheelbarrow. That sounds so weird saying it. Anyway, Van Hazard. Seated camel clutch sitting on the back, yanking back on that chin. But the submission expert himself, Eito Kajiwara, says, I ain't going out like no punk bitch. There's that cravat face buster, and now a clutch of his own applied by Kajiwara. 
Van Hazard sitting to the corner. Double knees to Backy. Ooh, surprise, Ninja. Van Hazard. Putting the mitts on Kajuar for a moment. Running neck breaker. Now Kajuar working on that arm. Kind of a key lock. Putting some torque on it. Putting that stank on it. Got a stank. EVH fights his way out. Right into a back body drop. Maybe even a belly to back suplex. Into the dragon sleep hair. Kajiwara in time to 100% take EVH out of this one. There's the knee to the gut. Axe kick to the top of the head. The Kajiwara combo. EVH. Kicks out at Deuce. Flipping neck breaker. Kajiwara with the brain buster. Right at the tip of the logo. A knee across the throat region. But EVH still has some fight left. EVH. It's Kajibara on the corner. Oop! Surprise, Ninja! Kick in the gut. They're both fighting out of that corner. EVH. Running Liger Bomb. It looks as though Kajibara, somewhere along the line, was busted open. Unless that's hair dye. In which case, why did you wait till the last minute to dye your hair? Kajuara got has time to stumble back to his feet. EVH. Whoa, EVH. Almost got caught in some weird genjutsu. I don't know what Kajuara was trying to do. I guess keep EVH on his toes. EVH moves slightly to our left. Ooh, went for the super kick. Stopped a just short. Drop kick, side step by EVH. Pow, gotcha, bitch. Kajiwara with the neck breaker. Hasn't tried to finish this match, and that's odd. Now Kajiwara getting his breath, trying to get the blood out of his eyes. Maybe it is hair dye. There's the Rana from EVH. Kajiwara not playing that shiz. EVH coming off. Sliding flatliner. One count. We're over five minutes into this match. Running snapping neck, running neck snap. Running snapping neck breaker is what I was gonna say, but it is a running neck snap. Double leg drop to the guts. I'm gonna say the guts. Kajiwara powering out. Of the collar and elbow tie-up, but eats another sliding face of booster. Flatliner, if you will. Oh, EVH not playing any more games. Hazard kick. And that's it. EVH moves on. We're going to get Alex Davis and Eddie Van Hazard. 
Eito Kajiwara, thanks for coming. That kick to the axe, kick to the top of the head. But EVH turned it on after that, sliding flatliners. And then the hazard kick. One, two, buckle my shoe. We're done in this town. Near winner, Eddie Van Hazard. Booed way too hard. We move on to our next match. Brought to you by Willie's Windups. It's, the, it's a debut here. A Supernova Pro debut of Chino Cruz taking on another third of the Supernova Pro Cruise Away Tag Team Champions. And probably the mouthpiece of Future Wave, Simon Taro. So, you know. Good luck, Chino. From what I know from the tapes that I've seen of Chino Cruz, this man is cocky. This man is also pretty wrecked diesel. He works out a lot. He looks it. GTL for life. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Chino Cruz has a surprising power game for a junior cruiser, whatever you'd prefer to call the members of this division. Simon Taro, Mr. Every Move 3000. Received a ton of hate over uh, during the off season for just being too much of a showman, a showboat, stealing others' finishing maneuvers and you know signature maneuvers, and just taking them as his own, which in bird culture is considered a dick move. Simon Taro responded with simply, "If you want it to stop." Beat me. Strong words as we see. Chino Cruz. Born in Tijuana. Now lives in Los Angeles. Chino Cruz has a selfie stick. I thought that fad had passed on. We still use selfie sticks, folks? I don't know. Let me know. But Chino Cruz is using the hell out of a selfie stick. Chino Cruz, too cool for school. I've never met a cockier human being. Actually, I have. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I've met some pretty cocky individuals. Not selfie stick in the ring co cocky, but yeah. I mean, I came up with superstar at his peak. <laughs> Uh, Bake at his peak, like in her peak years. Steve Taylor, you couldn't tell him nothing. Jeff Powell, uh, Gen 1, couldn't tell him nothing. Anyway, Chino Cruz is in the ring. As you get to see another member of Future Wave 
the mouthpiece. Simon Taro. It's actually good to see Simon Taro back. We actually didn't think he was going to sign. He got he got very big. Not just here, but in Blitz Wrestling Organization. Shout out to Blitz Wrestling Organization. Shout out to High Class Wrestling. Hashtag digital triad. People think that, you know, we compete against them. This is not, this is not a war. We are family. We are the digital triad. Anyway, Simon Tarot's punk ass is in the ring. I guess I shouldn't say much because not many people have beaten him. Mighty's beaten him. That's it. <laughs> Andre's called around beat him. Fluky, maybe. Who knows? Chino Cruz. Simon Taro. 20 minutes. This match is a go. T-Bone Bone right off the top by Chino Cruz. Told you this kid was equipped with quite a power game. He also knows hole four, apparently. He wasn't ready for that. Punch in the face. Punch in the face, part two. Simon Taro. Trying to figure himself out. One. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Now stomping away at the hand is Simon Taro. I always say his name weird. I went into the triangle. Shades of Stephanie Basic with that triangle. Kickback. Chino Cruz trying to get himself in some sort of order here. Deadlift gut wrench. Showing the strength of Simon Taro back up. Oh, surprise ninja. King Hippo punch. Stinger splash in the corner. Can I say that? I said it. Too late. It's done. Simon Taro sliding outside. Shino Cruz takes time to violate Yamamoto rule at the Yamamoto Classic. You get what you get, boy. Right into the arm bar. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I'm pretty sure he's ripped this move off of somebody. Though <laughs> we haven't seen it here. Pretty sure Simon Taro just watches tape and is like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Gino Cruz. The pump handle gut buster. Whoop! Show a little agility with that corkscrew neck breaker cutter thing. Steve is telling me it's a running corkscrew neck breaker. 
Gino Cruz kind of in control of this one right now. That's Taro up. What a power bomb. Taro kicks out, however. Gino Cruz, if he doesn't win, what an impressive debut. Simon Taro, remembering he's Simon Taro. Chino Cruz not giving a damn. Simon Taro. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I'm very close to the microphone right now, and I apologize. You got to feel my beard rub off the microphone a little little ASMR for y'all anyway back to the match Simon Taro <laughs> what the hell just completely booted Chino Cruz off the top rope Chino Cruz still in this match somehow some way the counter by Taro however Taro looking to finish this one. Whoop. Gotcha, bitch. Major Arcana. Chino Cruz, thanks for coming. Your winner. Simon Taro, but take nothing away from Chino Cruz in this one, folks. This kid came. He saw. He almost conquered. But he's having a bad fur day now. There it is. Look at the suspension. Turns it around. Power bomb. Simon Taro kicked out, finishing up Major Arcana. That's for all his bitches at Smart Tech. Your winner moving on. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Pow! Simon Taro. Wee! Wee! He's super weird. I, I I can't I can't help but to admit that he he's super weird. As we go on, Smash brought to you by Wally's Widgets. All right, take you to the final match of the first round. Mighty representing Blitz Wrestling Organization, the Steel City Strong Style, taking on Brandon Gates. Former Supernova Pro television champion. Former two-time Supernova Pro television champion. One of the most successful members of Project Mayhem. Up there with the likes of Breeze, Callie Dane, and Travis Palmer. You know, there are like 13 members of Project Mayhem. I've been sitting here rattling my brain all day. Me and Steve were in the office. We were talking earlier before we got set up here to do the Yamamoto Classic. And he asked me a question. If I could name every member of Project Mayhem. I'm not sure. Well, there's the leader of the Church of Ripley, Dante Ripley. There's Insanity. There's Cade. Um, there's Gates. Palmer, Breeze, Vega, Amadeus Keith, Callie Dane. I think I named them all. This is what I do when I'm waiting for matches to, uh, to get underway while I'm waiting for the setup. I name members of Project Mayhem. I may actually still be missing two, maybe three. But I think I'm actually pretty good. 
the Wu Tang of Wrestling, Project Mayhem. They bond atomically. Socrates philosophy. So anyway. <laughs> Out comes Mighty. At BWO Mighty. Protege of one bake. Former international champion here. Current high class wrestling tag team champion with another member of Steel City Strong Style. And the Iceman. Seriously, arguably the GOAT. Manchester Manchester Madman Brandon Gates One of the bright spots in the digital triad last year Definitely a, 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 a huge surprise here One of the raging apes of revolution. Brandon Gates. Chaos leads to order. Go get yourself a shirt, a bandana, a hat. They have a lot of product. Anyway, Mighty Gates. This match is a go. Final match in the first round. Mighty with a closey line. Everybody's been working on arms today. Not one arm submission. Went for the senton. Knees up. By Brandon Gates. Knee to the face. Mighty towing that cruiserweight line, that junior line. At exactly 205 pounds as of showtime. But has. I believe he's still Blitz Division Champion. I gotta go back and watch, rewatch the HD remix to see the final results, but I'm pretty sure Mighty finished the season as Blitz Division Champion. He could not be stopped. I don't think there's anybody who could beat him. As a matter of fact, he did. Because he whooped Skeevy Ray's ass. Brandon Gates, full of himself right now. Is that a Maha Stroll? <laughs> All right. I'll take it. Front slam, charging headbutt. Brandon Gates in control early on this one. But you know what happens when you're in control early. You lose it late. Side steps to side kick. But catches that forearm. Went for the front slam one too many times. Mighty scouting. And a spine buster of betrayal.
Went for, I believe, the cloud cutter? <laughs> Not the cloud cutter, the cloud kicker. I think I've seen this setup before. Brandon Gates, <laughs> take your punch and shove it mighty. Now violating, got punched all up in the face. Southern Light Suplex, Northern Light Variation. I don't know if you knew that. Let me see what Mighty was trying to do. Yup, Cloud Kicker. And it works for him. In the shortest match of this tournament. Brandon Gates, like I said, started off on fire early. Very much on fire. Threw out a Mata Stroll. The fruit roll-up, if you will. Cloud kicker. Nice maneuver by Mighty. I don't care what anyone else in the in the land calls it. It's a cloud kicker until further review. Whatever it is, it won the match for Mighty. And we get a tarot mighty BWO second round semifinal match. This next round brought to you by Walter White. We get Alex Davis against Eddie Van Azard, the only Supernova Pro member still left in the tournament. Supernova Pro known for getting skunked in their own tournaments. <laughs> we might get the old skadoosh again. Only one we didn't lose. Uh, ladies' Night in High Class Wrestling and the Collins Cup. Any other tournament you put a Supernova Pro member in, going to get the skadoosh. Of course, Ladies' Night in High Class won last year by two-time High Class Wrestling Women's Champ, Val Savage, who is also a two-time Supernova Pro Women's Champ. Speaking of women, ah, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Coming out after a little rest. All day, Alex Davis. Could have definitely definitely gone after his next match. After his last match. Eddie Van Hazard saunters his way to the ring. There we are. 
Alex Davis, Eddie Van Hazard. 20 minutes, let's go! Heel kick. Alex Davis. There we go, we're going back to stomping on, on hands and junk. It's very weird. Very weird why they do that. Rear chin log by all day, Alex Davis. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Throws down EVH. <laughs> Heel kick to the side of the head. EVH reeling. Ow. EVH, turnbuckle, turnbuckle, EVH. Get acquainted. I buy this match for a dollar. Well, I'll let you know, also, about a month ago, we introduced up as running Liger Bomb as Alex Davis violates Wizard Rule. We introduced a new title here, the Supernova Pro Grand Prix Champion, won by Higher Class Wrestling's Logan Neal. As EVH, going a little old school. Huh! Finishing strong. Can't get enough of that golden cruise. Super kick! <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. EVH exhausted after the after a series of moves finishing with the super kick. Now he's gonna be tired of seeing the the soul of Alex Davis's boot. Alex Davis, though, very taunty. He's Tonto. I heard that means stupid in somebody's land. Anyway, I'll, I'll figure it out. I have Wikipedia on my phone. Went for the knee. No. Sweet and sour suplex. And now EVH in the corner. Oh, hazard kick. EVH going for the pin. Referee out of position. Gave Alex Davis enough time to get up, big fella. But EVH not. Letting up. Sorry. I, I'm sitting on the wire right now. There's that. Oh, I almost got him. <laughs> Woody, I'm very tired. Super kick. <laughs> I, I'm on the I'm on the triad wire right now. From the office of Moto, we might be getting a new. Yet another new title. Ooh, I thought we almost got the three off the knee party. Three off the knee. Hashtag three off the knee. Somebody, anybody, everybody get that shirt. EVH, get this knee. Almost got the three off the knee. But EVH, still going strong. Getting pummeled right now. Northern Lights, no bridge. Iceman not even here, still at home throwing some shit. Guarantee you. EVH, Tiger. Two and a half off the Tiger. EVH going up top. Still City Tornado. Hey, 
And EVH moving on to the final. I thought, I, I honestly thought Alex Davis had this. Puts his finger up. One mo. One mo to go. Actually, he has two more to go. I hope he knows that. Bam, there's another finger. Two mo to go. And he reaches the finals of the Yamamoto Classic. But who will he take on? Brought to you by Waterworld. Will it be Simon Taro or Steel City Strong Style Brethren? Mighty. We're going to find out. Simon Taro back in the fold as is Mighty. Winner moves on to the finals of EVH as though you did not see the last match. We're going to hear about snubs and I'm going to explain it now. Pro and I said pulled out due to injury. So you got to see the debut of Chino Cruz who did very well against Simon Taro. Let's, let's not act like he didn't. Um, there are a couple more people. Jen did not make it to the tournament. We're still under contract negotiations with him. I believe there's one more. Dynamite. Dynamite said he's not going to partake in his title and in, in this tournament. And I asked why, and he explained. And upon one of his contract negotiations with signing here, he gets the first shot at whatever champion comes out of this tournament with the gold. So, okay. So at our first super card, you're gonna you're gonna see a match that's already deci decided. The winner of this match takes on Dynamite for the Supernova Pro Cruiserweight Championship. And of course, how can you not, how can Wizard not be in his own tournament and you answered your own question because it's the, it's a tournament named in honor of Wizard. This man has done a lot for juniors, cruisers, Blitz Division wrestlers and his almost 25 years of good service. And this year, a great big thank you as we name this tournament in honor of he. Simon Taro in the ring waiting his opponent. And out comes the mighty, mighty Marcus. Marcus Taylor, simply known as Mighty. Man, I still, to this day, is Blitz Division champ. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Dr. Mark's house isn't here to tell me otherwise. So he can walk out of here mighty two belts. Simon Taro. Mighty Marcus. 20 minute semifinal. Let's do this. Simone Tayro. Hole four. 
Fujiwara style. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Flippity dippity. Mighty going Lucho on us with a head scissor. Simon Taro going Taro on us. Sending Marcus to the outside. Mighty Marcus to the outside. And right back in quickly. Nice clothesline to the back of the neck from Mighty. Senton. Got kneed up by Brandon Gates last match. Nailed flush in this one. Oops, sweeps the leg. And Simon Terra. Kind of sort of in control. Whoa, whoa. King Hippo Punch. And out over the rooftop <laughs> goes Simon Taro. Referee restarted the count for some reason. A mighty with a face buster, face planty type move. Very dominating move. Keystone Clover leaves shades of the go to electric boogaloo. Simontero gets his bearings. German suplex. Whoa, reversal. Flip. Ducks the forearm. Nails the running elbow. Simon Taro in business. Avalanche arm drag. The Muna lock. Yeah, I bet you didn't want to expect that. Because I wasn't. Mighty kind of was expecting it. Found some way to get out. Bake crusher. In the corner. Super long body splash. We're not done here. Duck under. Leaping lariats, Batman. And a cloud kicker. Yeah, be mad. Two for two with the cloud kicker. And Mighty goes on to the final, so we're going to have a Steel City Strong style final. There's that Centon. I thought Simone Tayro had it for most of this match, especially here. That super duper arm drag. But nope, Cloud Kicker. And the old one, a two, a three. And your winner going on to the final. Oh, my tay, my tay. He keeps hitting the cloud kicker. We might be looking at 
the new Cruiserweight Champion. Brought to you by Wicker World. And here's the final. Eddie Van Hazard. Mighty. Still see Strong Style going up. The Flying Mighty, if you will, going up against each other. The final of the Yamamoto Classic. Who saw this coming? Actually, I didn't see it coming. I had Alex Davis and Simon Tarot. So, if you had EVH and Mighty in your office pool, congratulations. Congratulations. You are winner. go the final Eddie Van Hazard from Pittsburgh Pennsylvania <laughs> taking on mighty Marcus from Pittsburgh Pennsylvania Also, programming note, I don't know if I don't know if we're going to kick off with European Vacation and High Class Wrestling. I also have no idea what the hell Blitz is doing. <laughs> so, don't ask me. Ask them. And out comes my Tay, my Tay. Focusing as usual, getting ready. Take on his brother from another mother and father. You know what? Let's not get into genetics. EVH, mighty Marcus. Finals of the Yamamoto Classic is a go. Oh, rolling face buster counter by EVH. Seated face buster. Look at the conceit of EVH. Single leg drop kick. 30 seconds into this match, and it's been all EVH. Ever since Mighty tried to charge in, EVH was not down with that. Side step to side kick. The 360 splash. Now rear chin lock applied by Mighty. EVH driving the struggle bus right now. Back into the chin lock. But EVH fighting out this time. Punch in the face. Kick in the gut to break crutch off. And there's this, the Centon. And the go to black guy move.
Whoa, EVH. Nice kick. Staggered the swagger for a moment. Mighty Marcus. Gets caught in the Genjutsu. Sidestep the punch. Turned it into a running Liger bomb did EVH. Leaping Larry, it's Batman. Atomic drop. Double leg drop. And a front drop kick. EVH on fire right now. Went for the super kick. I mean, Marcus having none of that. Nice variation of a drop. It looks like we might be going outside. No. Nah. Marcus, the mighty one. Just waiting for EVH to get his bearings. Oh, I see what's happening here. Rated R Superplex. <laughs> Up and over. Oh, Yamo be the finish, baby. No. EVH with the kick out. Back pain had him down. But kick out. Mighty feeling himself. Lariat. Lariat. Super splash. Ducks the clothesline. Leaping Lariat's Batman. And a kip up for good measure. Oh, it's over. It's over, folks. You know what time it is. A cloud. A kick out. Right in the center of the ring. That's it. Three for three with the cloud kicker. Mighty Mark has won the, the official tournament winner. Gets his shot against Andres Calderon, who has wrestled a total of zero matches in this tournament. EVH fought hard. It was maybe a hazard kick away. But Cloud Kicker. Mighty Mark is totally, totally abandoning the Blizzard of 93. But it's paid off. As he wins the finals and gets a shot at the current Supernova Pro Cruiserweight Champion. Brought to you by West Warner Waterworks. We take a moment. Thank you all, first of all, for watching the product. As a champion, Andres Calderon. Takes on Mighty Marcus. This is a cruiserweight title 
match. Brought to you by the makers of the Supernova Grand Prix. Super, super excited about this championship match. Winner goes on to take on Dynamite, our first pay-per-view of the year. Or, I, I'm sorry, I should call it what it is, which is a super card. Because you don't have to pay to watch good wrestling. Out comes Mighty Marcus, apparently the man with no music. I have not noticed. I didn't notice till just now. This man had, has come out. I mean, he's changed his whole no music. It's very weird. I mean, since ever since the days of Gorgeous George, there's been a lot of pomp and circumstance. You know, when, when one comes to the ring, there's some grand music. But I think a lot of it is just Marcus. I keep calling him Marcus. I'm sorry. I know him personally. As uh, Mighty is like, I guess he's, he's one of those all eyes on me kind of competitors. Like, you... He doesn't want you dancing to his music. He wants you to pay attention to him from entrance to exit. So, and, and I guess I can respect that. And out comes the current Supernova Pro Cruiserweight Champion. Andres Calderon. Again, granted this title match. One cruise away title from Aito Kajiwara has held it ever since very impressive the second half of the of last season folks first title match of the new season starting off from Pittsburgh Pennsylvania 205 pounds trained by Bake Iceman etc and so on and so forth he is mighty Marcus <laughs> his opponent current supernova pro cruiserweight champion now residing in Brooklyn New York where Brooklyn at 198 pounds. He is Andres Calderon. He did a little sign flip with the belt. That's adorable. Gets the belt over to our Japanese referee. Mighty Mark is taking a look. Degrees has a nice looking belt. And here we are. This is it. Mighty. Calderon. 20 minutes. This match is a go. All Calderon can do is avoid the cloud kicker. Ugh. What a dominating face buster. 
Calderon trying to use speed to his advantage. Lion Salt. What injury. Calderon said, if I only got one shot at this, I'm going to, you know, give 110 as I have for Supernova Pro this entire time. Calderon just throwing punches right now. Back body drop. Not to be confused with a back suplex. Mighty Marcus. Thought he was going to go for the, the apron bomb. Calderon said, no, sir. Boy, oh, 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 oh. Mighty in control. Snap jab, snap jab, punch, kick, punch, kick, punch. Oh, we played a little parappa to rapper, and that was pretty cool. And back to the outside. Gut thrust. Punch, kick, punch. No. Calderon says enough of that. Forearm, forearm. Mighty Marcus. Oh, counters. This is fun. Oh, back to the post. Standing Liger Bomb. Calderon running back in the ring. Could easily. Oh my God. Suck it. <laughs> now. Should we end on that note? I'm getting word from upstairs. We're gonna restart this bad boy. That's a terrible way to finish a tournament. Brought to you by Whiskey Willies. Cut. Oh, Hurricane Rana. That's a Rana. They've been throwing shots at one another. Whoa, Calderon running past. Calderon being a step ahead. Snap German suplex, however. Stops the speedster. Whoa, Rana. <laughs> a Rana Steiner. Steiner Rana. Franken Rana. Elbow into the corner. Warm to the back. Whoa! Oh! What even was that? One count for, for Calderon. Mighty still all up in this. Machiavelli all up in this. Illuminati. Ooh! What a clothesline! And mighty. Oh, I was going to say, in full control. Ate that elbow. Ooh. Victory roll bomb. Ooh. Oh, hold four variation. Mighty fighting his way out, though. Belly to belly. Mighty feeling himself right now. Lariat. Lariat. Oh boy. Super splash. Coming off. 
Dug under. Leaping Larry, it's Batman. And a kip up. We all know what's about to happen now. It's Cloud Kicker time. <laughs> all right, say it with me now. One, two. Calderon kicks out. First person to kick out a Cloud Kicker. Yeah, kick out of this. There he is. There's your German. Ripcord. There he is. Blizzard of 93. That's for embarrassing me. Your winner and new Supernova Pro Cruiserweight Champion. The Mighty One. Mighty, of course, taking the title into our first super card. Take on Dynamite. So we're going to see a Blitz Wrestling Organization wrestler taking on a high-class wrestler for a Supernova Pro Championship. It's only happened once before. But thank you all for watching this preliminary tournament. We wish Andres Calderon, Calderon a speedy recovery. Congratulations to Mighty on becoming a new Supernova Pro Cruiserweight Champion. I am Chip Stackworth, and I'll see you in about a month. Till then, stay cool.